everyone, and thank you for coming back on this 4th of July. Hope y'all being safe. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you're having a happy time with your family members. You're getting it all in, getting that bonding, and have to hustle back to work tomorrow morning. Praise you. <laughs> okay, so make sure you do what you got to do in a good time span and get back in that bed, get rested up for that Friday haul on into work for those who have to go back to work. But for those who don't, just keep sipping your wine, your beer, whatever um, beverage you're enjoying. Love on your family and continue to be uh, enjoying your holiday away from the workplace. Okay, but we're going into another hot topic that's been trending on social media. And I'm like, parental advisement is enforced. Okay, parental guidance is needed on this particular video. What is going on in Chicago, Illinois, honey? What is going on? Is this a new delicacy um, to please the palate of your, your uh, taste buds? Honey, they had to seize a plane at Chicago, Illinois, O'Hara Airport because they were transporting rats, y'all. Is going on parental discretion is advised at this point. Okay, we got the U.S. Customs and Border Protection involved. This story was broken out yesterday by um, I don't know, uh, ABC um, TV news station in Chicago, Illinois. Yes, they were transporting had on board rat meat. I'm like, wait a minute now. Is it a delicate, a, a, a delicate, a delicate contestant? Is it something they're introducing over here in the States now uh, with this exotic meat coming from here, there, and everywhere? I mean, it ain't your chicken. It ain't your garden chicken variety. And maybe it is in some countries pal palatable for certain um cultures maybe it's something they do i don't know but in in atlanta georgia no we kill those jokers and we put them in the trash can and in new york i guess they do the same thing you know <laughs> if you got a lot of mess around your house or just a lot of debris that's unflattering uh it's like an eyesore you know those kind of abandoned buildings you will find these type of creatures roaming around about roaming around and about okay but not in your particular places that you would normally go you know like well-kept places or just in general only time you usually should see rats is when something is very not uh kept up you know it's just like it's an eyesore it's uh Buildings that are being demolished or uninhabited, those type of things you, you would see. Or restaurants where they be trying to get the um, food that's been discarded from the restaurant or the trash or something like that. You would see those rodents is what we call them. So why are we uh, bringing them on airplanes and trying to, I guess, disperse them out in the community? I'm not sure. But let's go on into um, the commentary that ABC Chicago News brought out. Yes, it was a breaking news situation here. Somebody had dropped a dime that was trying to be a whistleblower, maybe a good Samaritan, because this was activity that you really just don't like your garden variety type. Or oh, we need to do a, a agency check or we need to call in the SWAT team and all like this because something going on. No, somebody had to tip them off about rats being transported in here for human consumption, I'm guessing. Okay, but let's get on into the article. It says food and drink because it is a, in that type of um, category we're referring to. Rat meat seized by U.S. Customs agents at O'Hara Airport. Okay, it was... um brought up and, and put on social media and the news or whatnot as breaking news commentary for the uh, masses to partake of and get educated about. It says um, Wednesday, July 3rd is when it was dropped and uh, it was dropped on what is it? Uh, Central Standard Time Zone 1241 p.m. Okay. 
It says U U.S. Customs agents stopped the man from bringing African rat meat through Chicago. Okay. Okay. All right, then. Chicago officials say U.S. Customs and Border Protection agents at Chicago O'Hara's International Airport brought a mass attempt to import dozens of pounds, okay, dozens of pounds of African rat meat. Customs spokesman Steve Vanshabok said Tuesday that the man declared the 32 pounds of meat on June 26th when he when his flight arrived was from the Ivory Coast. The meat was confiscated and destroyed. Hallelujah. Okay. But um, I mean, is that something they're trying to import over here, period? And it's just something that we're not supposed to be partaking in. I don't know. I really don't know. But O'Hara Airport said not today. <laughs> it's not gonna pass today. Not here. Okay. That was my commentary. Moving back to the article that was written up on here. It says, Vance Box says the man did not face a fine and continued on his journey because he was forthcoming about what he was bringing into the country. He says customs officials prohibit the entry of African meats to prevent the spread of disease. And we all know, we all know they do have diseases in them because that's all they eat up is filth. So I'm like, man, <laughs> they just try to bring in anything exotic, anything that they know don't supposed to be over here, not just coming from Africa, but everywhere. Heck. I mean, the Amazon River, the, any kind of exotic animal that they want to bring up here. Ties, well, not, ti tigers, lions, and bears, elephants, um, Different kind of monkeys, different kind of birds, snakes, uh, just anything. Hell, a bamboo, uh, not a bamboo, a bamboo or, or whatever. Any kind of exotic creature that you would probably see over in Africa or Australia or Canada. You know, they want to bring it over here to the States and breed it. And we have all these creatures over here that's not even supposed to be over here. You know, it's supposed to be over in the Amazon somewhere, you know, where they thrive and produce and and, and populate and uh, set up the ecosystem, how we're supposed to stay stable and all that kind of stuff. You know, all that science knowledge dropping. But they're supposed to be over here when they could be endangered, definitely can be killed or whatnot. But I'm like, oh, what is going on? But at least the man was forthcoming, and at least he didn't get no jail time. But I'm like, should you have asked somebody in the trafficking department of um, at, at the customs agency, what can you transport in? What can you import before you waste your time? Okay, because so they're talking about you were trying to bring in dozens of pounds of African rat meat. I mean, I, I just don't understand. You can't make this stuff up. You cannot make it up these days. It's when you think you've heard it all. Keep living. That's my mama, grandmama, and, and other people that have passed on in my uh, family have said wisdom is an ongoing thing. Your learning will never stop until you die off this world. So keep living. Keep experiencing. You ain't heard it all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when you've heard it all, it's because you decided to just stop learning and educating yourself, or you're dead. You're pushing up daisies. You're no longer on this plane of earth that we do, um that we're presenting ourselves on. Okay, or inhabiting, I should say. But y'all, that's all I got on this story. Like I said, parental discretion is advised when watching this video because some people cringe at the thought of it, and I would cringe at the thought of if I had to eat that as a protein meat source. I'll be like, let me just be vegetarian. Let me just eat nuts, berries, <laughs> and, and plants, okay? Because I can't take it. Uh-uh. No. That's where I draw the line. That's where I would officially probably be losing a heck of a lot of weight, and I would be plate, oh, you call it, uh, plant-based material when it comes to eating food to uh, retain my uh, uh, livelihood of my health. Because if that's what we had to eat on as an American 
uh, community. This is the type of stuff or even human meat they're getting into is what I've heard. If I can find an article on that, I will research it and bring it to you on the tube. Yes, we got some people uh, in some countries are definitely intaking human meat. So I'm like, where did they get these people from? That's, you know, what are they doing with these dead cadavers? You know, I know they studied it for science to try to see how a person aged or they were disease written with cancer. And they're trying to just see, you know, what process, how it got to this degree of, um, you know, where it had killed them or whatnot or had progressed so fast that it, it, it killed them. And they just doing research and studies and stuff. But like that. When they get finished doing that, then they donate the meat from science to it being eatable or edible for uh, human consumption. I mean, good gracious, that's just recycling the, the disease, isn't it, that the person died on. If you're going to revamp it and put it in meat material, ah, this is a hot mess, okay? But like I said, I try to find some interesting topics to talk about, and when it make me wonder... <laughs> I ain't got nobody to talk to about it. Lord knows I don't want to talk to myself, but I can't have a conversation with myself, answer myself, and go on about my business. But it's just here what it is. So we always do it. Like we go in our closet, we like, do I want to wear that today? No, I, I think I wear it. But should I, I think I should wear it. Let me see how, you know what I'm saying? Those type of conversations is what I'm saying. Or I'm not like, like sitting there having a conversation like I'm looking at somebody, ain't nobody there. No, not that kind. I need to be in the psych ward if that's the case, or taking some serious medication to get these hallucinations out of my head okay and out of my eyesight but yeah <sighs> just wanted to put that out there for you absorb it take it in and be cautious when you're going to these uh different restaurants and you're trying these different types of meats that you ain't never tried before you know some of them i guess and i'm allegedly speaking may try to portray that this may be chicken this may be this that third and maybe rat meat you know what i'm saying or some other kind of cat dog whatever because in, in the asian community they eat all this kind of stuff they find it you know as protein because they don't have a big plethora of uh protein or meat sources so they have to rely on what's in their area okay or their country that they're allowed to eat and not be uh you know prosecuted for it or whatever but uh yeah i think i just stick <laughs> if, we got, if I had to question the way certain meats taste, I'm going to leave it alone because I definitely have left steak alone. I mean, I've been like cooking steak for I don't know how long, but now, and it could just be the season I'm using because I use a lot of garlic and onion uh, for flavor. And sometimes it just, it turns like a little kind of emerald green or maybe not emerald green, but like a slime green or something like that on some parts of the meat. And then some of the meats just look so red, like they don't dye it. And I'm thinking, is this meat all and they're just trying to make it look refreshed or fresher? I, I, I just don't like all the dyes and stuff. So I have definitely left a lot of uh, beef alone. I seldom eat uh, hamburger meat or whatnot. And I tell you, this chicken, I, I don't know. Some chickens just don't taste right sometimes, too. And it make me question, Lord, what am I eating here? That's why I tell people, pray over their food. Not just because they're eating out and they don't think people are uh, clean enough for them or whatnot. But sometimes you can come home, cook your own food, and, you know, you thinking everything cool. But sometimes when you unwrap that wrapper and you put that meat under that water, trying to cleanse it off a little bit more before you put it in the frying pan or you put it in the oven, it don't look right. I mean, it looked right when you were looking at it in the stove. But when you brought it home, you know, either you're going to catch a smell that's not kosher or it's gonna, the meat is not going to look right. It's going to have too much fat on it or like it's been glued together. Uh, and there's a lot of YouTube uh, videos out there that how they show uh, meat that they weren't able to use for whatever reason. And they wanted to put it back like it was a whole piece of like a pork chop or steak. They use this glue material to uh, piece it back together and it looks like a whole steak part. But it really not. It's just extra other parts. Oh, it's a hot mess into the meat industry, period and point blank. But like I said. That's for another video, another time. I just thought it was very interesting that customs will be dropping, you know, a dime on somebody and a person is actually giving up the information and causing all this, you know, 
panic and stuff and stopping, you know, planes flying out because they don't transported or imported some rat meat up in here and wasn't even supposed to be doing it in the first place. <laughs> That's a hot mess. So watch what you're eating out there. I always pray over your food. Uh, because like I said, you don't know how they're treating this food, how much pesticides, how much antibiotics they're putting in these, uh, food we're consuming. And then we come up with all this chaos and this, that, and third, and it's just a hot mess, a hot mess, but be informed, stay informed and watch out. Okay. And I'm going to move on to another video because that's all I'm doing this weekend. It's just putting out videos, putting out videos, making new YouTube creators or meeting new uh, friends on the YouTube and, and, and gaining subscriberships. I'm like, I, I'm loving it right now. <laughs> I'm loving it. So y'all stay with me. I stay with y'all. We're bringing you more trending news on Deb Chanel's Four Days World's YouTube channel. All right. Y'all be blessed. Bye.